Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the THW NHL News and Rumors Rundown for the week of February 6th, 2021. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with this HockeyWriters.com. You can check me out on at the Hockey Raider on Twitter, the Hockey Raiders' latest news and rumors on the HockeyWriters.com, and of course, the Facebook page of the Hockey Raiders. Uh, we got tons of stuff to go through. A couple of really big stories today that we're going to be focusing on. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Tony D'Angelo of the New York Rangers. He's done. He's not going to be playing with the New York Rangers anymore. Here's what's going on from the beginning to the end. Okay, so Tony D'Angelo was a healthy scratch at one point during the season. Apparently, he never got over that. It was emotional. He didn't like it. Uh, he was acting out and misbehaving and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, and then there was apparently a scrap that he got into with another team member, which was broken up. Uh, the New York, New York Rangers had told him, had he done anything else this season, that was going to be it for him. They'd be put him on waivers. Well, he went on waivers, he cleared waivers, and the Rangers have said they will not be using Tony D'Angelo on the roster anymore. They will probably be looking for a trade. So there are a number of teams that are interested in D'Angelo, but here's the kicker. Uh, he's got a pretty hefty salary. He hasn't necessarily been the most productive player this season, and it's going to be hard to know if other teams are going to be super interested, although there are reports from people like TSN's Darren Dreger that there are teams that are interested in Tony D'Angelo's services. Here's another thing. The New York Rangers aren't looking to retain salary in the deal. Yeah, maybe they'll take a little bit on, but they aren't looking to cut half of his salary and give the other half. To, you know what I mean? Like they're just not going to take a bunch of salary on. So that might limit teams that are interested or can add Tony D'Angelo. But there are some clubs that might be interested, like the Calgary Flames or the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, so we'll see if anything comes to this. But Tony D'Angelo's storyline this week was front and center in the news. And it'll be very interesting to see where he winds up, if anywhere. If he doesn't get traded, the Rangers have said, look, we'll just buy him out. You know, it's not going to be an issue here. Um, so he may not move. He could just be bought out at the end of the season. Another player that might be on the move here is Calgary Flames forward Sam Bennett. And there was a report that came out that he wasn't happy with Calgary and his position on the team. Uh, he hadn't told the team as much, but his agent confirmed that he did want a change of scenery. It was sort of business as usual in Calgary with him actually getting some top line minutes. But it was then revealed that, yes, he did communicate with the team that he was looking for a change. They pulled him from the lineup on Thursday night. He was a healthy scratch, and it sounds like he's going to be moved. Now, other reports say that there's not a trade imminent here, but there are teams that are interested, among them the Vancouver Canucks, although it's been reported they don't have the assets they need to acquire him. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs might be interested, but it's going to be interesting to see what the salary cap situation looks like there. Uh, the New York Rangers, but they can't do necessarily a one-for-one -one swap with, say, someone like Tony D'Angelo because the salaries are so different. Uh, there's going to be a lot of teams interested in Sam Bennett. He hasn't been very productive in the regular season to date, but his playoff performances will make him an attractive option for some teams. Uh, so it should be interesting to see where he winds up and if he gets back into the Calgary lineup at all. Calgary plays Edmonton on Saturday night. Will he be in that lineup? It doesn't seem like he will be, but we're not really sure, so we'll watch for that one too. Jim Benning, the v Vancouver GM, is in a little bit of hot water. Uh, he's kind of on the hot seat maybe for his job. He made some comments in an interview recently that he ran out of time when it came to signing Tyler Toffoli in the offseason. Tyler Toffoli obviously had gone to Montreal. He's lighting it up for the Canadians, and he's been tearing it up against the Vancouver Canucks this season, which really makes everything look bad because Vancouver did want to sign Tyler Toffoli, but reports were that they sort of pushed him to the back of the bus when they were looking at other things like replacing Jacob Markstrom or looking at Nate Schmidt, maybe going after Oliver Eklund Larson. So Toffoli became a less of a priority. He went to Montreal, and now the Vancouver Canucks are paying for it. But really the kicker here is that Jim Benning has sort of admitted that his job with the salary cap was probably not very well done, that he could be one of those guys that Vancouver gets rid of because of the fact that they don't have any confidence in moving forward. He's not allowed to make trades or do other things without approval from the ownership. It's just not a very good situation in Vancouver, and the team is really struggling. So that doesn't help his situation at all. So we'll have to watch to see if Jim Benning is potentially one of those guys that could be let go by the Canucks and what will happen in Vancouver as the team continues to struggle. The Oilers got some bad news. Ethan Bear is out with an injury. He's missed a couple games, and he's going to be missing more. He's on the injured reserve list, so he won't be playing against Calgary on Saturday or against Ottawa on Monday. And Tuesday, uh, we'll see when he gets to come back, but it doesn't look very good uh, for Ethan Bear and the Edmonton Oilers. They got lots of defensemen to replace him, including Evan Bouchard, but it's not good that Ethan Bear is out. And Justin Williams was hired by the Carolina Hurricanes as a special advisor to the GM, so he's going to be playing a uh, 
kind of assistant consulting role with Carolina. It's a perfect fit, Mr. Game 7. Uh, his history with the Hurricanes, it makes sense that he would retire the Hurricanes. He would make sense that he'd take an executive job with the Hurricanes. Uh, so this is good news all the way around for Justin Williams and Carolina. All right, that's going to do it for us, guys. Uh, don't forget, check out the Hockey Raider Twitter. Go to the latest, latest news and rumors on thehockeyraiders.com and then the Facebook.com. The Hockey Raiders. All right, guys, we'll talk to you next week. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Enjoy the NHL action this weekend. Keep your eyes on all the news and rumors reports.